finished with finals, which means it's time for community are making the Linux scripting project, or part two of the Linux for cybersecurity project. So in part two of the Linux for cybersecurity project, I will be learning how to well, script a little bit in Linux to automate some different tasks. It's important to learn scripting in my opinion because you can automate different kinds of things. Besides uh, the scripting aspect of part two, I will be installing, uh, first learning how to install the LAMP stack and then installing the LAMP stack. I will be trying to then write a script to automatically install the LAMP stack on a VM just to see if I can do it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. Right now I am completing the Linux shell scripting course on Station X and we are using a tool, an open source tool called Vagrant. Vagrant allows you to not only create VMs but it allows you to have a Vagrant file where you can actually remote into a VM and then use your favorite text editors or uh, tools simply by adding a, a statement in the Vagrant file. So it's pretty, it's pretty handy. Um, I am right now using Vagrant, I'm SSH'd into a local uh, VM machine and it's pretty easy to, to work with. Um, so there's notes in the description below uh, that can get you started with Vagrant that I've created. Why learn shell scripting? Well, really there's one word behind this, and that is automation. Everything that you can do within shell scripting, you can do within the command line. But with shell scripting, you're gonna automate a certain process. Uh, there's certain things that you can do that are like one-liners on the command line, but when it comes to shell scripting, you can automate your process. Anyway, really shell scripting comes down to the fact that you're gonna be able to create things that are reusable. You could parse a log file, build, out a automatic script which automatically generates a certain amount of users or deletes users that automatically installs software or automatically checks for software updates there's all kinds of scripts you can create and so that having that automation process is just handy Let me show you a quick example of what I'm talking about when it comes to automation with shell scripting. So over here I have a one line log file, which you will never find in the real world. But uh, there was this downloadable link that was through the course and it didn't work out. I guess it wasn't downloadable. So I just pulled off one line from a login failed attempt on OSSEC. Uh, basically, I just threw this into a Vim document. So I wrote a very, very basic shell script, which would parse through the log file and find the IP address and the date. You will see that we have our log file, which will show us our IP address and our date. And the original one would be this. From that, you can just do some basic uh, data manipulation and you can get what you need, the important information. Now, just an FYI, you'll never find a log file with just one line and I would have to write a loop to uh, work through each line if I wanted to see multiple lines in a log file. So that's what you can do with a basic shell script. finished with the Linux shell scripting course. Uh, this course was pretty good. I liked how the fact that after each module you would have a project or an exercise to work on to apply your skills and what you were learning within the videos. It's always a great bonus, the application portion. I need to test my skills for shell scripting, kind of. So here's the project. I am going to be creating not really creating, but I will be installing the LAMP stack. If you don't know what the LAMP stack is, it's a basic web server configuration uh, that most web servers have. Uh, it stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So this is one really common exercise that people who are just starting to learn Linux will do. They'll install the LAMP 
uh, stack and configure it. But instead of me doing that manually through the command line, why not create a shell script to add to the application portion? I have created this document, um, which basically outlines the how to install each of these uh, services, as well as additional installs um, that allow you to interact between each other. So now it's time to apply one of these installations to a shell script. Right here I have a VM up with a clean Ubuntu install. I just used Vagrant and I created this clean Ubuntu install. So I'm going to be using Vim to create this shell script and see if this will automatically go ahead and install on this Ubuntu machine. The install has finished. It is, the script has successfully installed the LAMP stack. We can check uh, if PHP is installed by using php-v for version, and we can see that that's installed. MySQL is installed by using mysql-u. We are in the MySQL database. Also see the, the Apache 2 server here is right here. So basically we have the LAMP stack installed and this was a pretty basic script. It really wasn't that hard. This script, all you have to do is make sure it's not written that the user executes in pseudo privileges then we install all um, of the Apache, PHP, and MySQL. Then we install PHP, my admin for database access, and we configure it, and that's about it. It's not that big of a deal. This completes the scripting portion for the Linux project for cybersecurity. Uh, my, my LAMP stack script will be included in a GitHub link in the description below. And this actually completes my Linux project for cybersecurity, my introduction to Linux. My intentions moving forward are to continue to use Linux and to force myself to use Linux for anything that has to do with technical project. In fact, I have a, a server project coming up which will help me with this Linux half handling. And in addition, if you guys are interested in learning more about the Linux project, there is a article in my website that I wrote about what you guys can do to kind of replicate if you want to uh, introduce yourself to Linux and cybersecurity. So there is a link in the description below that I wrote. I need to force myself to use Linux. And let me tell you, shell scripting, there's a lot of powerful things you can do with shell scripting. And I didn't really know a lot of the stuff that you could do. So. That is it for today's video. If you have liked it, please consider subscribing. Until the next project, see you soon.